With raiders in the game, our villagers need protecting and what better way to protect them than a medieval wall? I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to build a wall like this one with watchtowers and a gate. To build this wall you will need lots of cobblestone, gravel, stone and andesite for texturing the cobblestone, stone bricks, stone brick stairs, cobblestone wall, stone brick slab, dark oak fence, dark oak slabs, dark oak stairs, spruce doors, ladders, spruce planks, stone buttons, dispensers, not droppers, torches and lanterns. So let's start with the basic wall. It is modular, you can easily make it as long as you want. So first module, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one each end. Stone bricks at each end. Okay, build the cobble wall up to three high. And build the stone brick pillar up to two high and top it with a stone brick stair. Now leave a gap and put one stone brick stair upside down, come to the other end, leave a gap and put another one upside down. And now fill those gaps with dark oak fence. You should end up with something that looks like that. Come to the top, on top of the stairs and the fence we're going to place upside down stone brick stairs. Now in order to do that, place down a stone brick stair or a waste block and next to it put an upside down block. Get rid of this one and run your upside down stairs the length of your wall. On top of those stairs, cobblestone wall. And next to that wall, on the bottom half of the block, dark oak slabs. These slabs are spawn proof because they're bottom half, but we're not going to leave it there. Now on this wall, every second piece of wall is going to get another wall on top of it. And the ones in between are going to get a stone brick slab. And then every second wall will get a torch. Now grab your texture blocks, come around to the back and just rough the wall up a bit, knock some holes in and replace them with the alternate blocks. Don't go overboard, just enough so that from the front it's not just a slab of cobble. And that is your basic wall module done. Repeat it as long as you need. And there's a bit more of the wall. All well and good, but what about a defensive tower? Easy peasy. More cobblestone. We're going to start with marking out the tower. Its base is five by five, so it protrudes one out from the wall. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five along here, and then one and two. I'm just gonna pop a slab there, because that's where we're gonna put a door, because you wanna have access to your tower. Build this up to a height of three. And one over the door space. Next is a row of upside down stone brick stairs, but they're going to go one out. So we'll start with mitering to the wall. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come around to this side. Let's continue our stone brick stairs. This is where our wall will continue. It may take a little bit of mucking around until you get the right profile. Now on top of your stone brick stairs, cobble wall. Remember to leave a gap opposite your slabs for the walkway on the wall to continue. And on top of that wall, stone brick blocks. And again, leave a gap. On top of the stone brick blocks, 
cobble wool. Now run it all the way around. So that you can get into the tower, take out the closest dark oak slab and place it one further down. Do the same on the other side. And now you can run in and out to your heart's content. Place a stone brick slab on each corner and on alternating cobble walls in between. Fill in the gaps with cobble wall and top the corner ones with a torch. Now come down to the feet of the tower and put one, two, three stone brick stairs on each corner. Do that for the internal walls as well. There we go, it's textured up a bit. It doesn't look too bad, but if you're running along the walls and you need to get to the other side of the tower, this isn't going to cut it. Right, let's start with the idea that you want to look over the parapet and fire down on your enemies. So along three walls we will put dark oak bottom half slabs, leave the internal wall without that little walkway. Now grab some dark oak stairs and make a staircase going down. And here we're going to put in a dark oak slab floor. Leave a hole in the corner closest to your door. Add lanterns or torches for a bit of light. Let's pop down here, let's do the same. Actually, even just one will do. In the corner, run a ladder up and place a spruce door in the doorway. You can add a trap door if you like, but you don't have to. There's the watchtower. You can make that taller if you like. What about a gate? Right, let's start building the gate from the outside. So come in one diagonally from the end of your wall and go up five. So one, two, three, four, five. On the fourth block up, an upside down stair facing outwards. And on top of that, an upside down stair that's at a 90 degree angle to the wall. Another one upside down, one right way up, and three blocks across, one, two, three. In this space here, against the stone brick pillar, one, two, three, cobblestone wall. Now come across one, two, three, four, five, and we're gonna repeat the same thing. So one, two, three, four, five. Upside down stone brick stair, right way up stone brick stair. Upside down stone brick stair, right way up stone brick stair. And cobble wall. And now on top of what you can see is our gateway, one, two, three stone brick slabs. Now to make the gate itself. One, two, three, four, five, and bring it up to a height of one, two, three, four, five. Fill in that whole square. And where the gate doesn't join the wall, just fill in the blanks. Three cobble, one dark oak slab. Along the top here, you need stone brick slabs. Run them along so that they are bottom half. And at this end, place whatever is at the other end. That will keep your pattern of slab and wall consistent. Now underneath at the top, one, two, three, four, five dark oak fences. At the bottom of the, at the front, take out the five blocks that are in front of your gate and replace them 
with dispensers facing up. So it looks like this portcullis is going to come down into these holes. Now come in one block and place one, two, three, four stone buttons. Do the same on the other side. And if you're worried about how people are going to get in or out without having to open the portcullis and the gate, you can knock out these two spruce blocks and you can put in a wicket gate, which just means a little gate that can open independently of the main gate that people can come in and out of, and that is built into the main gate. Last but not least, two torches at the top and two at the sides, just to provide some light. That looks great from this side. It's not that terrific from this side, let's fix it. Stone bricks in front of your first row of wall. One, two, three, four. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four. Stone brick stairs are going to go right way up, upside down, right way up. Do the same on the other side, right way up, upside down, right way up. Three stone brick blocks and on top of those three stone brick slabs. Buttons as we did on the front but we're going to put one, two, three, four, five this time because we don't have the portcullis at the top. One, two, three, four, five. And add torches again. Two at the top, two at the sides. There's our gate. Now because the wall and the towers fit together as modules, it's quite easy to change elevation and direction. You can see this. This is in my hardcore world. I died. It's finished. <laughs> but you can see if we come around here, it's quite dramatic. So I just increase the height of the towers and bring the walls up accordingly. And over here, and I make adjustments to the walkways. So if we come to this one, so we come along, this comes up a little. This one comes up a fair bit more and then comes round again. But simply by making towers taller, by bringing in the walkways at different points, I can accommodate almost any change in terrain. So even here where it drops off quite a lot, it's not too hard to just increase the height of that tower to accommodate the gate at this much lower point. And round here you can see it's doing the same thing. So wall down here, taller tower, wall comes up higher. Doesn't matter how much the ground undulates, walls and towers can accommodate the whole lot especially if you're not afraid to place the feet of the tower at different heights. We'll come round to another gate. Even gates can be used to change elevations. In this case, it's dropping down. So there we have it. One basic modular medieval style wall with watchtowers and gates.